So we're back. So in this video, I will be showing uh, you how to add custom animations to your units. In the last tutorial, I showed how to change the skeletal meshes of your units by changing their puppets. Uh, but you will not need to use uh, custom skeletal meshes in this video to be able to follow along if you just want uh, to add custom animations. So for this, I have uh, added the anim starter pack. Uh, from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can find it here for free. This is by Epic. Uh, most of the animations that you can find in the toolkit that are used in the toolkit are from this starter pack. Um, so in uh, the Anim starter pack here, you can see that we have plenty to choose from. Uh, for this, I will be changing an, uh, the attack animation uh, of our units, I believe. And there are many ways to go about doing this, at least a couple. Uh, so for this, we are already using uh, the fire rifle hip. That's the default one that's used in the toolkit. Um, but we will instead, no fire shotgun hip. That's the one that's used by default. Uh, but let's take fire uh, shotgun iron sights instead. And we will be using this animation. So skeletal mesh animations in Unreal Engine are handled by animation blueprints. Um, and we can go to our animation blueprint here in uh, units. So the base one that's being used uh, by all our puppets, I should say, is the ABP unit animation blueprint here. And um, I'll get more into what's happening here a bit later, but for now, let's just simply change the animation and let's see what's happened. Uh, so uh, we have our ABP unit. Let's keep this as it is and create a, a child animation blueprint. So this is uh, the simplest way to do things, if you're happy with all the logic as it is already set up in the animation blueprint and don't need to change it, then creating a child bl blueprint class is fine. So I'll just, again, just keep the child name here just for the tutorial. Um, and within this, we can see here that in the animation graph and the state machine and the attack animation, we can actually override the animation that is used uh, for our attack. Uh, so we can simply change this to our new animation, but we can't find the new animation here. We will need to add it to our skeleton first. Uh, and how do we do this? We can't simply, um, if we go to uh, the starter pack here and find our uh, shotgun iron sights, you would think that you can just um, retarget it here and duplicate anim and retarget but we can find no skeleton that we can retarget it to. And so to be able to retarget a, an animation uh, in Unreal Engine, both of the skeletons, uh, or the, yeah, both of the skeletons, the ones that you're targeting from, the one that you're targeting to, they have to be aware that they are the same skeleton. Um, and if they are using the humanoid rig, this is quite simple to do. So if we find our base, uh, skeleton in uh, puppets here, so the SK mannequin, and we go to the uh, let's see the skeleton and the retarget manager. Uh, we can see that it's already set up correctly. So this is the one that is included in the toolkit. That the rig is set to humanoids. So this is what you want to see. Uh, but if we go to our anim starter pack here, and we find the skeleton, uh, yeah, we can just go into our animation and we can find the skeleton from there um, and we go to the retarget manager you can see that there's no rig selected so we can change this by choosing select humanoid rig and then we auto map it that might not be needed actually but so we need to save this so now both this skeleton and the skeleton included in the toolkit are using the humanoid rig uh, at which point we should be able to duplicate our animations here to use for our um, for the toolkit skeleton. So retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets, and retarget. Now we can change uh, the skeleton to uh, this is the one that you can see here barely that is in the uh, that's the one that we're using for the toolkit. Let's select retarget, and in content then uh, we're adding a new uh, animation. I will change this just to the standard naming convention for animations and uh, so this is yeah we can put it here but we can just keep it in content that's fine if we open it now we can see that we are opening it within uh, the uh, correct skeletal mesh here with the correct animation blueprint um, 
Yeah, that's not the correct animation blueprint, is it? Mm, yeah, it shows to open it in our child uh, animation blueprint, but that's fine. Um, but that's why we're not seeing anything in the event graph. But yeah, so we have added the iron sights animation here so we can see it. So maybe all is good. Let's go and see. So if we uh, then go back to our uh, blueprint here and should, can we then change this to our fire shotgun iron sights animation. So if we're now using the ABP unit child uh, animation or animation blueprint, uh, then we need to set it up so that our puppet uses the appropriate uh, animation blueprint. Uh, so for those of you who haven't uh, followed the previous tutorial, I should just change this back to the default uh, puppet for this guy. And that puppet is simply BP actor puppet. And we can go to his uh, unit mesh and we're changing the anim class here to uh, the one that's called child. We can see that it still animates fine. And when we attack, uh, let's change to this guy, we will see that he should use the new animation. And yeah, he fires up high, but then he just keeps on shooting and the game basically uh, freezes up. So something needs to be added here to, uh, to let it work along with the action system. We've got way too many tabs here, so let's just close them down and then open the ones we need later. So let's figure out what's different between our old shotgun animation and our new shotgun animation. Uh, so if we go into our animation blueprint, I'll go into the base one here. That's the one that our new one inherits from. And we'll check out the animations. And uh, now if we go to our old shoot animation, uh, you will notice two things here. That there are uh, that there are notifies here on the notify track. If we go to our new one, you will see that there is nothing. Uh, so what these notifies are that uh, so a an animation notify in uh, Unreal Engine more generally. So that this is something that will trigger an event in the uh, event graph uh, of your uh, animation blueprint. Uh, so these allow our animation blueprint to tell uh, the rest of our game uh, that we want something to happen. In this case, action hit tells that, okay, we want the um, action to be resolved here. We want, uh, for this one really, we want to show the hurt animation for the unit that we're attacking uh, or the puppet of the unit we're attacking and to decrease their health bar. And for action end, we want to signal, okay, now we're fine with going to the next action in the action queue as per the action system. See my uh, separate tutorials for that. So we need to be able to add these. So both of these you can see are uh, mirrored in the blueprint. So we can find here, uh, let's see, uh, action hit and action end. Um, which are called here. So for our uh, new shoot animation to work, we will need to add these notifies. So for our firing shotgun, we want to show the hurt animation. Uh, we want that to happen when we think that the bullet uh, would hit our opponent. And let's see what looks right here. Yeah. So for this animation, it fires almost immediately. Yeah, let's, so when the recoil starts, let's put it here. I mean, it doesn't need to be super close, right? So it's the skeleton notify, action hit, and then we want this to end just a bit before the animation ends, uh, just for pacing. Uh, so we're hit, adding an action end here. So this means that this part of the animation here will play as uh, the action queue jumps to uh, the next action. Um, so now that we have added both of these, if we hit play again, and now we try to attack, we will see that this guy got hurt and also uh, play proceeds to the next unit as we would expect. People forgetting to add these notifies is one of the most common uh, support questions that I get. So uh, make sure that you're checking uh, these notifies. The same will go for uh, some of the other animations as well. So if uh, it seems that your game just stops up right after an animation plays, 
uh, that it doesn't continue from that animation. So make sure that you're checking that. Okay, so that's it for adding animations to skeletal meshes uh, using the Unreal Engine default skeleton. Uh, in the next one, I will be getting into how to add uh, skeletal meshes that do not use uh, the default skeleton. And uh, after that, I will be going more into how you can customize uh, the blueprints uh, of your units, of your puppets and animation blueprints. Um, if you need more uh, custom behavior for your game. But let's get into that later. Uh, that's it for this video.